The recent Israeli aggression against the besieged Gaza Strip began on May 10th, after the Israeli regime attacked worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque and started eviction plans of the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in the occupied East Jerusalem Al-Quds. This wasn't the first time the besieged territory came under Israeli fire. However, this time Palestinians turned the tables against the regime and launched unprecedented rocket and drone attacks on Israeli cities, inflicting damage and casualties on the enemy. Finally, after 11 days of brutal Israeli attacks that killed at least 279 Palestinians, including 69 children, the occupying regime announced a unilateral ceasefire on Friday, which was accepted by Palestinian resistance groups with Egyptian mediation. People in the besieged Gaza Strip and the occupied West Bank hailed the truce as a victory for Palestinian resistance groups in the face of Israel's attacks. The 11-day-long Israeli aggression resulted in the displacement of over 90,000 Gazans and the destruction of Gaza's critical infrastructure and many civilian buildings. International NGOs and Gaza officials say several hospitals and schools as well as power and sewage plants have been severely damaged. The Red Cross says that Gaza could take years to rebuild. Moreover, Palestinian lawyers say the Israeli army's use of live fire and rubber-coated bullets from short range against Palestinian demonstrators is a war crime. Meanwhile, Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki has sent a letter to the International Criminal Court's prosecutor's office, including documents on new and ongoing crimes, calling for an investigation into Israel's war crimes in Gaza, West Bank and Jerusalem al quds I think that now, following the, the horrific damage that Israel did, wherein it, it, attack, it, it targeted homes, uh, medical centers, press buildings, these are all in blatant violation of international law. And much as Israel would like to say that Hamas had some presence there, there is no evidence to support that. So I think this time, with an investigation about to begin regarding possible war crimes that Israel committed in 2014, I do believe that these will be added to it. Following a ceasefire between Tel Aviv and Palestinian resistance groups, after 11 days of Israel's deadly war on the Gaza Strip, Hamas and the military wing of the Islamic Jihad movement, Al-Quds Brigades, thanked Iran for its unwavering support for the Palestinian resistance, saying Iran is a partner in the victory against Israel. Iran's leader, Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei, congratulated Palestinians for their victory against Israel. Ayatollah Khamenei noted that Palestinians' resistance left the Zionist regime with no choice but to request a ceasefire. The regime's defeat was manifested both in its continued crimes and its request for a ceasefire. The Israeli regime was forced to concede defeat. The Iranian leader noted that the Israeli regime will get weaker than what it is today while the preparedness of resistance forces will make Palestine stronger day by day. He also called on the entire Muslim nations to feel responsible for the Palestinian cause. Muslim governments should enter the scene with sincerity to support the Palestinian nation, whether by boosting their military might or lending financial support. This is required more than ever before for the reconstruction of the infrastructure and repairing the damage done to Gaza. Ayatollah Khamenei emphasized that the crimes Israel committed during its latest onslaught should not be left unpunished. He said Israeli authorities, particularly Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, must be brought to justice in independent international tribunals. The defeat will indirectly do that because Israel has seen, the Israeli government has seen that it no longer has the level of support around the world that it once believed it had. People uh, in the, spoke up in the streets. There were uh, mass demonstrations in support of Palestine around the world. Many governments, although they were critical of Hamas, uh, unjustly critical, they were also critical of Israel. This is, this is new. Israel no longer can do whatever it wants with complete impunity. 
Israel launched an offensive on the Gaza Strip and approved a ceasefire without any preconditions or strategic breakthrough. This means the Palestinian resistance has taught Israelis an important lesson, and that is, the Israeli enemy is incapable of facing Palestine's united uprising.